Hey y'all, won't you go over and check out that BT knives? I bought a knife off that feller, and that sucker was so sharp, I saved three possums, two skunks, and a muskrat, and it still lifted my whiskers the next morning. Hello YouTube, what's up? I got a request to do a video on all the, all the knives that I've made, which can't do that because I don't have some of them but I can do a video of all the knives that I have made that I still have aha alright first I'm gonna show you my very first knife back when I was doing rendezvous and going to a fur trade convention stuff like that and this was my patch knife when I was uh, muzzle loading. It's not very sharp, but I really haven't done with nothing with this for five or six years. I just been lay having it lay around for a showpiece. Only goes down about right there copper pins brass guard and my first knife looks pretty cool looks old looks like something they'd use back in the mountain man day all right where to start next might as well jump right into the one that Chuck made me the sheath for. Very, very nice. Love the sheath. Natural G10 handle scales, high carbon steel, full flat ground. Very, very thin. And yes, sharp like razor. Alright. Okay. Start next. This was a power hacksaw blade. And I made a filleting knife or boning knife, whatever, kitchen knife and turned out pretty nice Bacote handles quarter inch steel pins and stupid table eh. can't really get the angle that I need such a large blade and can't keep in frames but it's sharp. I'm gonna tear one of these sheets of paper in half. Uh, a file knife that I have made. I've been trying to been trying to move this one. Kind of a more larger blade than what I'm into but I was going to use it for deer season, so I don't really care if I get rid of it or not. And I was going to use it to process my deer with. Again, very, very sharp. Another big file knife. Made this for like a bushcraft knife. It's pretty heavy. It's pretty thick. Uh, it's pretty sharp for such a thick grind. I put a high convex laid back edge on it. Acid dipped it.
again, pretty short. All right. This is a blank chuck sent me, and I reprofiled it all, and uh, ran out of gas right when I was heat treating it. So the heat treat is off, but it's still very, very sharp, but won't hold an edge very long. That was error, human error, my, my fault. So it'll be a scratch and dent knife. All right. Oh, quarter inch pins, brass, black G10 handles. Also compliments of Chuck, Super C Richards. Same on this one. Black G10, 3 16 inch brass pins. Very nice knife. Uh, I really like how it turned out. It's real comfortable. Very short. All right. This is the last knife I made before my uh, 4x24 went loopy. Sort of reminds me of an old mountain man knife. Sort of like a roach belly. It's so hot and muggy here. It's pretty sharp. It's made out of a stainless Switzerland kitchen knife. Three different size pins. One's a steel, quarter inch brass, three sixteenths, eighth inch brass. Black walnut handles. Very nice. Very sharp. High carbon. Again, same same style handle. Cherry scales. Three eighth inch brass pins. Again. Very sharp. You have cut paper. Mm. Another little six inch file knife. Cherry handles. Pretty sharp. All these are going to stay in the frame. Uh, here's one I've been working on. I've just been working on it every now and then because it's not that critical. Making this for a buddy of mine. He broke his uh, son broke his parent knife. Natural G10 handles, eighth inch brass pins. I've just been working on the sharpness every now and then, but it's getting there. Of course, my friction folder. Tactical box cutter, two face tactical box cutter, hickory, or not hickory but oak and black walnut quarter inch brass pins. And last but not least, I have a another roach belly style knife. Really like the way these turn out and. Uh, Again, very sharp power hacksaw blade. Well, guys, this video is going to be about almost 10 minutes long, so I'm going to cut it off right there. But right there's all my knives. Oh, Bloodwood handles, 3 16 brass pins, compliments of James Elam. That's about it. Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later. Here you are, Pilgrim. Sharp enough to scale a fish with.